Supreme Lord, Prince of Atlantis. Your foul species is hereby banned from the seas and oceans of the world. Any who enter the waters will face my wrath. It is Marvel time. Please, if you haven't, subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to Larry's channel. Turn on those notifications so when we drop videos, you get them. We've been hearing that people haven't been getting our notifications for whatever the reason. Make that sure thing. they're turned on. Get Make that sure thing. they're turned on. So the, the latest news with Marvel is that they now have sole control of Namor in the MCU. Take a listen to this. Marvel Studios has long seen the potential for a Submariner movie, and in fact, they've been wanting to do so for years, even before WB earned a billion dollars for Aquaman. However, rights issues with Universal prevented that. But sudden sources confirm again that unlike the Hulk, Disney did recover Namor's solo movie rights years ago. Sutton initially scooped an Atlantis Attacks movie for Pete's Basement circa 2015, guys, that's a half decade ago. And now those discussions have awakened again, a tweaked adaptation of both Marvel Comics miniseries with the same name but different plots. Namor is indeed coming, there is no doubt, but it will be a matter of time if Atlantis Attacks will sink or swim in development. Your fly in the ointment, Mikey Sutton. Now there's a couple of things in here that are awesome to unpack, but none better than Marvel Studios having reacquired the rights to Namor years ago, silently having done so really before the insane fan fervor kicked in around Infinity War, and in such, will be able to give us a solo Namor movie eventually. Now, we've heard a lot real recently about how Namor may be introduced in the MCU. There are heavy rumors of him making his debut, well, what's supposed to be this year, what'll be early next year in the Eternals possibly as a child. We've also heard a ton about his introduction in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. At this point though, I've left that at just a rumor up until this leak. Now he seems to imply Black Panther 2, which is another heavily rumored film in which Namor would appear. And even if there is some sort of flashback scene to contextualize Atlantis or maybe even a child Namor during the Eternals, you can be sure it wouldn't be the fleshed out version of the character, the anti-hero and antagonist and or turned protagonist that will get in a full version of the character now during Black Panther 2 or maybe even a solo Namor film. As he goes on to say here, an Atlantis Attacks miniseries was what was on the table back then when they first got the rights in development. He said a miniseries by the same name with different plot points that may still be on the table and from everything we've heard about Black Panther 2 and the storylines that it hopes to follow for T'Challa having been snapped and now returning five years later having to reestablish himself again going up against another prince in a secret society it actually follows along perfectly. Now, this is purely speculation on my part, but something that I had been putting together lightly, why would Atlantis and Namor show up now? Well, other than them having reacquired the rights and having room to introduce the character. Man, I, Larry, I am so here for that. I, I am so here for that. It has to be Namor in Black Panther 2. It has to be. And the storyline- It sounds like it might not. It, it, no, man, it's got to be him because, like he said, the storyline you can run is T'Challa was snapped in the Infinity War. The very first um, Infinity War, he was snapped. They said the time frame from when he was snapped to when they came back was five years. So that snap didn't just affect Wakanda, it affected everything in the universe. So right. that means that Atlantis was affected by the snap. And Atlantis right. might, might was wondering what in the hell was going on. Did, did, did Wakanda do some new mess? Um, we was under attack. They didn't get any help from Wakanda, um, but yada, yada, yada. And maybe he's like, I'm going to attack them because half my people disappeared and you didn't bring your kingly ass down here and help me, you know? Right. And, and then you have the clashing of two kings and then you can have maybe some bigger adversary in the background as T'Challa is trying to explain to him what's been going on because they are an isolated nation as well. You might can have Dr. Doom appear in Black Panther 2 as the main adversary leading to a different movie that brings these two guys together because Namor is not really a bad guy. He's an anti-hero. You right. know, he's, he, he's kind of like, you know, in essence, Black Panther, when they first dropped him in the MCU, he was kind of an anti-hero. He only cared about Wakanda. He didn't care about the world. He didn't care about nothing else. He cared about Wakanda. 
and their vibranium and their technology. Right. And Atlantis has crazy technology and things of that nature too. So I give it to you. What you think is going to happen with this story and Namor? I mean, it'll be interesting to see what happens because, you know, I mean, T'Challa was, you know, he was a bad guy in Black Panther. I mean, and, and it's rare that you see a movie where the bad guy wins and the good guy, at, you know, and Killmonger actually didn't uh, didn't come out victorious. So it'll be interesting to see what they do with Namor like this. It'll, so, you know, I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I kind of, I kind of would just, I hope they, part of me wants to see him in Black Panther, but part of me doesn't. Part of me is like, I want him to do sort of a, because if he, if they make him, if they put him in Black Panther, they have to make him sort of the, if not the main villain, sort of, they have to make him a main character in there mm -hmm. for that movie. And I kind of don't want that to happen. I'd rather them do sort of a short introductory and then do his solo movie and okay. you know but i understand why they would want to introduce his character in there so that so that when they do do a solo movie a lot of people that don't know aren't just sort of like who's this guy why do i care about him why you know I'm, they, they they already are they've already been introduced and they have some understanding of who he is and why he's there so i get why they would why they might do that if they go that route but i would like to see him maybe just do a short introduction and boom jump right into his own movie if anything because because marvel has you know had a plot line with this character probably what you're saying might be what happens they probably already got fleshed out some villain for black panther 2 and close to the end or maybe the post credit scene you might see him rise up out of the water and with his triton and be like i've got to attack them or something to that nature I, right. I really, as much as I would want to see him in the movie, I don't see them putting him in the movie in that manner because there, yeah. he's too he's going to be too heavy of a character in the future of the MCU for them to, to just, just sprinkle sort of him, him, him on. Trip. You can't give right, him a short right. trip in a movie. Mm -hmm. So I, it's still unknown who's going to be the villains in Black Panther 2, but I think with all certainty we can say Namor is going to make an appearance. It's just how much of an appearance is he going to make? I think T'Challa is going to be the, the, the villain in Black Panther. I think I think that oh, he's going to be the, go. I think he's go. gonna be the villain. He's going to have to go up against his sister. And sure, he's going to come out victorious and end up being the Black Panther. Well, you, you guys heard it here first. You know, this channel is not afraid of rumors. He thinks the sister is going to become the new Black Panther. Yep. I don't. I don't. I do. Not for one bit. Because but... it was because they don't because they don't want to see a woman as the Black Panther. But we know she we know that from the comics that she already did. She we already know she becomes a Black Panther. Hey man, you got plenty of time for that storyline. You got plenty of time for that. I mean, really? they work. I look at it like this: they are working toward building the Illuminati. I, I mean, you, Larry, you have to do the Illuminati which is going to consist of Black Panther, Namor, Professor X, Reed Richards. And they're going to all come together because what do the fans really want? We want World War Hulk. And in order to get that, we've got to see the Illuminati and they've got to all banish Hulk's ass. And in order to do that, they've got to come together. And maybe while they're doing that, that's when she steps in the role with Wakanda while he's out with the Illuminati and you can do it that way. But in terms of this movie, nope, not biting. Nope, 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 nope. You don't think so, huh? Okay. No, no, All no, right. no, no, no. All right. So we'll leave it there, but I will keep bringing you guys that hot Marvel news as I get it.